As we look at the final question from our SAT reading passage, question five, we see that this is another example of an information and ideas question as it asks for specific details from lines 43 through 52. This is an example of a reading closely question or in terms that we might understand from class, a reading comprehension question. Can you read the lines here in 43 through 52 and understand what Nawab is trying to convey with his words? In the context of the conversation, Nawab's comments mainly serve to C, emphasize Nawab's diligence and loyalty to Haroni. We know this because as we look through, we can see that he says, there is but one man, me, your servant, who takes care of the two balls on Haroni's vast lands, emphasizing that he has worked hard and for many years for Haroni to manage this extensive work. And it says that he has earned gray hairs on his employer's behalf, emphasizing that he's worked really hard in order to please Haroni. Answer choice A is not the correct answer because even though initially in lines 43 through 52 they highlight the vastness of Haroni's lands, these lines primarily focus on Nawab and his dedication and service to Haroni. Answer choice B is not the correct answer because in this passage it seems to focus more on Nawab feeling that he can no longer adequately fulfill his duties. They really never say that he's either competent or reliable at doing them. And then answer choice D is not the correct answer because in lines 43 through 52, Nawab doesn't say that he intends to quit his job. He simply says that he can't do it very well right now and perhaps would like some help doing it. So that is why the answer is C. Congratulations, you've now watched all of the explanations for all five questions for our SAT reading practice passage. In your reading reflection document, please scroll down all the way to the bottom and make sure that you answer the reflection question. Today, or This week's reflection question is, if your English teacher was sitting next to you, what is one question you could ask him or her in order to better understand future reading passages? So what did you struggle with in these passages? Was it citing textual evidence? Was it understanding the words and context in the vocabulary? Was it reading comprehension, understanding what the author is trying to say with the particular words that he chose? Whatever it is, craft a question for me and submit it on Google Classroom.